Hey guys, welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. Um, our today's chapter will be regarding passing a variable um, on calling a function. So if you remember, in the previous chapter we spoke about how private and public variables work, how do we declare them and what's the purpose of using those variables. Now in our today's chapter we wouldn't really use a private or a public variable we will just use a variable in a sub procedure and I will demonstrate how can we pass that same variable by calling another procedure so for example um, let us go down to the developers tab in Visual Basic so let me create two subs to demonstrate this example let's call the first sub um, transfer this variable and let's create a second sub called accept this variable now let's define a variable in this um, let's say dim i as integer let's give it i a value of 5 now assuming um, if we had to call this function from here which is call accept this variable and if I had to display the value of i what we're expecting to see is um, i should be 5 when this message box pops up the value of i because that's what would happen if you would declare a variable either as public or private in this module now let's try running this function and see what do we get so as we can see it gives us an error that says variable not defined because obviously um, the variable i has been defined specifically only in this sub procedure perhaps if you call another, another procedure you cannot retrieve the value of that um, variable so in order to achieve this um, um, in order to achieve this um, what we would need to do is we would need to um, change and amend our, amend our codes to something like this so for example in our second procedure where we would like to pass the value of a variable we need to um, we need to write in these brackets as um, we need to define a variable within that procedure so instead of defining it right in here what you will do is you will define it in the brackets that are assigned right towards the towards the right side of the procedure name so as you can see in these brackets I've just written um, i as integer now um, if I were to go back to my previous procedure now at this time if I write call accept this variable um, obviously this function wouldn't work because um, now um, apart from calling this function I also need to send an integer value to it because I've already predefined pre that in the below in the below sub so I will just open a bracket and I will send the variable i which um, I'd like to pass on the value so this time when I call the function accept this variable um, instead of it giving us an error that i is not a defined variable it would rather accept the value of i that we are sending through this procedure right here and also at the same time we are accepting the same value in this procedure as we have predefined it so let's try running this once again and as our outcome we should see the message box um, with the value of i being 5 so as we can see guys um, this is how pretty much you could pass your variables to a different sub um, through the calling method um, the benefit of this is that you wouldn't have to use a private or a public variable which um, are often not recommended because it's not the best programming practice to use private or public variables unless you have no options available because they kind of store some space in memory which slows down your entire process of um, running a macro so anyways guys thanks for watching this video and please do stay tuned for more take care